Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, I'm going to show you Tokyo Tower and also things you can do around Tokyo Tower. And first up, we have this shrine near Tokyo Tower. It's called the Atago Shrine. There are these stairs which are called Stairway to Success. And the stairs lead to the shrine. So yeah, let's go. It's going to be quite a bit of an exercise. Okay, there's a sign saying you can't train using these stairs. I mean, it is leading to the shrine, so kind of makes sense. But I get why people would like to train on these stairs. Look at those stairs, they look so tough. Okay, let's go, we can do this. Guys, that was quite a bit of work, so hopefully it's gonna lead me to success. Okay, now that I'm up the stairs, I'm gonna show you around the shrine. It looks really nice and it's such a beautiful weather. The Atago Shrine is located on top of Mount Atago, which is the tallest mountain in central Tokyo. You can enjoy the beautiful nature in the middle of an office area in Tokyo. It's quite rare to see a shrine surrounded by so many skyscrapers. The shrine was originally built in 1603 on top of the mountain, aiming to protect itself from fire and disasters. The original shrine was burnt and destroyed a few times afterwards, but was rebuilt in 1958 to its present form. What does the fox say? All right, let's head to Tokyo Tower. But before, coffee. I went to a Lupang Kotidien located in Shiba Park, which is just beside Tokyo Tower. I've been to the branches in the UK, but this was my first time going to a branch in Japan. Okay, time to head to Tokyo Tower, for sure, this time. There's just something about Tokyo Tower that I really, really like. I don't know, it's probably the bright red colour and the shape that makes it special. Tokyo Sky Tree, the new tower in Tokyo, is very nice, but I still prefer the look of Tokyo Tower from outside. Lip coffee. Lip coffee. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. You can book your ticket online or you can purchase it on the ground floor. If you're purchasing tickets here, you can go over there. But I bought mine online, so I'm just gonna go queue for the lift. Whoa, these lifts look extra fancy. <laughs>
A tip for you when you're visiting Tokyo Tower is to aim for the sunset. That's because you can enjoy the stunning sunset and also the night view afterwards. Alright guys, I came to the main deck of the Tokyo Tower and I just saw the sunset which was really really amazing and actually I took a time lapse of it so I'm gonna show you. I hope you enjoy the clip. I see myself in the reflection and oh my god, that's so pretty. So they sell some Tokyo Tower keychains and guess what, they have a Hello Kitty design as well. That is so cute. That over there is the cafe I was in. That one. Oh my god, there's even a bigger one. Holy. Oh. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Oh my god, you can see Tokyo Tower in the reflection of that building. Holy wow. When you go down the lower floor, you can find a souvenir shop that sells a lot of Tokyo Tower merch. You can get these magnets, a memo holder, stationery, and even a Tokyo Tower water. So a bottle of water. Oh my god guys, they have the Tokyo Tower Sake and Tokyo Tower Shochu, like Japanese spirit. And oh my god, that shot glass, that is so pretty, oh my god, and it says Tokyo Tower. Wow! The otter is hugging the Tokyo Tower, that is so cute! Can I take him home? Take me home! Oh 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Tokyo Tower and its surroundings. If you did, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye! And I'm gonna go up those stairs which are called stair... Which are called... And firstly, I'm gonna show you these. And there, there are also... Alright guys, so I came to the top of Tokyo Tower and...